All right, that was the Oscars. It is time, it has been done. And of course, you know what that means. We get to see how many of our predictions are right and wrong. Hey. Hello there, everyone. This is 22 Tiger here, and I am back here with Auburn Wonder, Jackson Fulcher, Andrew Hayes, The Duck, Phil Fennel 599, and Kevin Falk. Hey! What's up, Kevin? So yeah, there's just nothing more to say except that it was definitely an interesting night and I can't wait to see how everyone does. But um, before we do get to that, I'll let everyone say what they want to say, starting off with Auburn Wanderer. Listen, this is a very emotional night. Um, I Listen, we, we all know what happened, but listen. You, you got scratched by a cat. That did happen, that was not awesome. fun. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, um, last year, uh, for me, Oscar wise, uh, was not very good. No. Uh, I saw, like, I didn't see all the best picture nominations, and like, you know, I just wasn't really into the ceremony last year, and I did the stupid stats thing. But this year, I, I, I well, before the nominations were announced, I saw the best picture nominees. So once the nominees were announced, it was like a cool thing to be like, oh, I saw all the nominees. Um, and, you know, I, I've seen, I saw a, a, a lot of her films like Bombshell, This Day in the Neighborhood, uh, Judy, um, you know, that were like nominated for other stuff. Um, and, you know, it was just, you know, um, Two Popes and stuff, you know, just, you know, lots of uh, really, really great films um, this past year. And uh, this has been one of my favorite award seasons in recent memory because, you know, okay, so the, the one thing, you know, looking back on it is that the Irishman should have gotten more love. Yeah. Um, but, but besides that, I mean, you know, we've gotten love for, you know, once upon a time in Hollywood, um, you know, there should have been some more love of like marriage story, but you know, and I, I really like 1917 and, you know, a bunch of other films have gotten other stuff, you know, um, and, uh, and yeah, but obviously the film that I, I really, really wanted to, to be the king of it all, it, it is, but we will get to more of that once we get to that part. So, uh, you know, um, this has been a really good award season. Um, I'm really like, you know, I don't really normally like say this about myself and maybe it's kind of dumb to say this because it's not really that impressive because millions of people also do this, but like, I'm really proud of myself for finally like really like dedicating myself to seeing like all the awards films. Like the only ones I still need to see is Pain and Glory and Harriet. Um, but I'll, I will, I will see those, uh, soon. Uh, but like, you know, like I've saw like all the major ones really. Um, and like, that's something I've like, I, I only did in last time in 2014. Um, so it's been a long time and, you know, I've had a kind of rocky journey with, with film and stuff. So I'm just really happy that, um, you know, I'm, a am finally at a point where I'm motivated to see all the awards films and it's been, it's been really fun. And then, and then, you know, of course, like a film that I think is a masterpiece, you know, is, you know, nominated and it wins. So, uh, yeah. Next one up here is Jackson Fulcher. Anything you would like to say? Uh, yeah. Um, apologies that Diego Coy cannot be here tonight. Uh, he is currently on cloud nine right now, uh, which will become very apparent. He's as as um, he, he, he is just probably so excited and we are all excited also because this was a pretty good show. Uh, a lot of a lot of great winners that I'm really happy to discuss very soon. Hey, it's also really late. Next one up here that is not going to get backstage yes. live in the predictions video is Kevin Falk. So, what do you have to say, sir? First of all, I am so happy that I get to be throughout this entire thing. Fuck yeah. Uh, also, I will definitely echo a lot of what Kane said. Uh, this, for me, is one of the best award seasons in years. It's very rare that almost every single film that's nominated are films that I adore, are films that, to the point where I don't really care what wins because there's just so much that I love. Um, and just the way it all culminated was just probably the best outcome possible, even if my favorite favorite of the bunch didn't win. I'm just so happy with the way things turned out here. It was just such a, a great uh, delivery in that way. There were so many great films that came out last year and just to see how it all wrapped up uh, was just so utterly satisfying and definitely something that we're going to be talking about for years to come for sure. And especially after last year's 
almost horrendous uh, award season, this was much better in comparison. Way fucking better. Probably the best Oscars I've seen in quite a while. And uh, very happy with the way it turned out. And uh, even though right off the bat, I did not win, um, I'm happy for what won. So, yeah, uh, very excited to be in this whole thing and not be booted out every five seconds. So, yay! Next one up is Film Fan 0599. Anything you got to say? Uh, let's just say Howard Ratner was not on my side tonight because um, my gambling uh, did not favor me uh, this time around. Um, to be fair, it didn't favor him much either. <laughs> have for me in previous years, but this year, um, instead of this is how I win, this is how I lose. Um but no, um, the show overall I thought was really enjoyable. Um, I did like a lot of the winners and stuff like that, you know. So I did think it was a good show overall, and I very much did enjoy it. So yeah, it was a good show, even if I. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Oh. And last person here is the duck himself, Andrew Hayes. You know, um, I'm actually very pleased with the results that we got. Whether I got the predictions wrong or right, um, I'm just very happy with kind of all the winners because they all they all deserved it, and, and you know like this was a very very good show, but like the award season was just honestly fantastic. Yeah, and that that makes me happy because last year it wasn't so good of an award season, um, especially for me who one of the Seems to be one of the few people who was ecstatic in book one and just, uh, not gonna lie, it kind of made me feel like uh, garbage. That, uh, you had that, to crawl in a yeah. hole, <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know what? Like, this year, uh, made me, uh, not so kind of upset that my favorite movie, like a movie that I loved, won best, day. yes. All right, everyone. So, are y'all ready? Yeah, oh, man, yes. the damage. So, we're here for director, and the winner was Bong Joon Ho for Parasite. Film fan, you won this one. You got it right. Everyone else didn't. So, congrats on getting this one right, my, my man. Well, my only gambling, my only gambling for tonight that actually got me somewhere. The only one that paid off. It did, it did very much pay off. All right, next one up is for lead actress. And oh, man, what an upset. And obviously all of us got right with Renee Zellweger for Judy. Can't so wait you Kevin, for Kevin to say that five million more times in this video. Yes. <laughs> next one up, another one all of us got right is Joaquin Phoenix for Joker for lead actor. Hell yeah. So, good job, everyone. Very good. All right, next <laughs> one up is Laura Dern, another one where we all got it right. Yeah. Um, my favorite actress has an Oscar. Let's fucking go. Our supporting actress, yeah, she's an Oscar winner it's now. Good to know that we are mostly on the same page for a lot of these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Another one where we're definitely like, oh, I did. Mom <laughs> boy is Brad is Brad Pitt from What's the Upon a Time in Hollywood for supporting actor. This was probably my favorite win of the whole night. I was so Who's excited. Brad Hanks. Shut the oh yeah. Oh yeah. Favorite actor, Brad Hanks. Brad Hanks. Brad Hanks, one of the greatest actors of all time. Yeah, yeah. We're never letting that go now. All right. We never let anything go, Kevin. For oh, oh, thank God. Thank God. All right. Now for visual effects, 1917 one. So congrats to Diego, Andrew, Jackson, and Kevin for getting this one right. Me, Jaden, and Film Fan, we did not get that right. Hey, Film Fan, uh, I remember when you were like, why is this going to win best visual effects? And I was sitting well, here like, because <laughs> it, like, it won like almost everything at whatever fucking visual effects like award show they have. So I was like, oh, okay. I know, but it's just really funny in retrospect. <laughs> I know, but again, like, yeah. you also have to realize that like the Academy's visual department is like even larger than that. And yeah. Yeah. Next one up is oh, um, no. editing, and uh, no. everyone except for Ken and Kevin got no. this one. Right. My, my favorite part about this one editing. is the big old decks over the Irish one. <laughs> You know, dude, I, 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 okay, I gotta say this quickly. I know Kevin's gonna say this also, but like, it is so weird how the Irish one was like, the, like, the, the front runner, and then like, it wins nothing. Yeah, 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 it's very, it's very disappointing. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't let my Scorsese dick sucking go away for like two seconds. Holy <laughs> 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 like the fuck? <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, let's continue. 
And uh, speaking of and speaking of Scorsese, since he is a producer on Joker, yes, yes. So in a way, he did win some things tonight. I don't think he cares about Joker. <laughs> so we have original score. We all obviously got this one right. So congratulations to everyone. This was probably my favorite presentation of yeah, yeah, that was yeah, so. that was so that really cool. That, I, I really that was really cool. Did the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, for a oh, uh, uh, <laughs> every everyone except for I'm sorry, film fan got this. Look, 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 look. So sometimes my gambling does not get me places, and this is one of them. Fan, it is okay. No, fan, this is how you lose. <laughs> this is how I win. <laughs> film fan, film fan, it's Never okay. happens in cut no. gems. Film fan, it's okay. Just know you did not predict that breakthrough was gonna win a fucking off. <laughs> true, 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 true. <sighs> I high key really wish Kevin did. <laughs> yeah. oh, that song wasn't even good. Like I was like, when she started singing, I was like, stop. Why don't that? Next one up is cinematography, and Roger Deakins won his second hey, Oscar. Wait, Jeff Nero Oscars in a row for Roger Deakins. Yeah, two in a row. Two in a row. A row. Two in a row in the sense that he's been nominated two times. Okay, and- okay, yes. It's I not how it works. That's not how it works. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin if, if, it, okay, if a sports team goes to the finals one year, wins the, and then, goes to the finals two, and then doesn't go to the finals that next year, uh, but then goes to the finals that next year after they didn't go to the finals and wins it. That doesn't mean they won two in a row. That means they yeah. like won it. Like you know what I mean. Like, <sighs> All right. Next one up is costume design. Oh and my I, god! And, and it always yeah, breaks my and it kind of breaks my that. heart. And it breaks my heart saying this, but everyone except for film <laughs> fan got it right. Hey, it was at this oh. moment I knew. It, hold on. It was at this moment I knew. I was like, my game is not going to be anywhere tonight, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> at that moment, he knew he fucked up. <laughs> oh, oh, man. At that moment, he knew he fucking lost. <laughs> How many gambles did you do? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do, 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 I, do, I, do I need to say it again? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? My favorite part of this is it's the fact that, like, I kind of forgot what, like, I put down, let alone what others put down. So, like, it's funny seeing it. <laughs> yeah, same. Like, got it wrong. So, like, even if it's mine, like. So yeah, makeup and hairstyling bombshell. Oh yeah, me and my boy Diego, we got this one right. Yep, next one <laughs> original screenplay. Next one up is original screenplay, and Diego and Caden they took home this one. The rest of us, fuck. Yeah, like literally how- right when they were about to announce, I was like, oh fuck, I should just pick Parasite. I like how it said it's I had okay. an instinct it's okay. that once upon a time was gonna win that, and it did not. I know. Okay, well, a screenplay category I did get right, and it was the Jojo Rabbit. Along with right. One of the only ones that Diego got wrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the few ones Diego didn't get right, actually. Yeah. You guys, will see, you guys will see later on for that. For Let's sure. just say Diego is the Eminem of this video. Wow. All right. We de- we all definitely got this one wrong. Definitely. Oh, yeah, for sure. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh wow. What a surprise. I'm so shocked, guys. I really thought that the cave was going to win this. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Because everyone was logging on Letterboxd. You know, I thought they had a shot. So, yeah, American Factory for documentary feature. Now for a documentary short, once again, all of us got it right. They're in a skateboard in the war zone. If you're a girl, uh, took home documentary. I literally forgot what the full title of that was. <laughs> I just want to point out that the C and J look like a W. That's all. Wait, what? The C and J look like a W. No, no, actually, no, actually, Jackson, I was thinking that in my head, actually. Yeah. I was like, the C and J together look like a W. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Actually. <laughs> uh, I didn't even realize that until now. Mm-hmm. All oh, right, yeah. next one up, uh, uh, we all got right, and I'm glad because when I was doing this, I was almost going to lean towards 1917, but I'm glad I went with my gut and went for Once Upon yes. a Time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Once Upon a Time for Project. Yeah. This is how I would. All right. Ah. So this is one, and, uh, <laughs> okay, then. I, I don't like saying this, but everyone except for Caden got this one right. Ah. Yeah, you bitch. 
Hey, remember Listen, what I, I, I said? Got it right for sound editing, said, at least. But, but to remember what I said that there was that it had no chance, and and, and guess what? But dude, I would do what? Look at the look at this. We had no chance. And then now, and now this is, I guess, kind of the opposite. Me and Caden uh, got this right, and everyone else yeah. like this. But 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 the oh. funny thing is, like this this award came first. So at first, I was like, oh no, Ford is actually going to. Yeah, no, say. <laughs> so I was, I was relieved. That I at least got half of these right. Yeah. No, because yeah. if, that, if that happened, I think I would have been in the lead. I think you I probably, probably, probably. You would have yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, yeah. I would have lost anyways. I think because of editing, but uh, like film editing, but whatever. This, this is actually the prediction I'm the most happy I got right because I was sweating. Like I was <laughs> yeah. seventeen, and then the minute they said four v Ferrari, I literally shot the top of my lungs. Fuck yes. Yeah. Like, no, like, that's, so, that's like, like, like so loud. Like you mm -hmm. would. Okay, I'll say as for next year, I'm definitely gonna take in consideration that they'll get they they can give one film like this like uh, like this and that from that one because I'm so yeah. used to like, them getting them both, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, same. No, you're yeah, definitely. You yeah. know what? Like nothing's more nerve wracking than knowing you're one of one of or the only person to predict something and you get it right. Yeah. Speaking of that. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of that. <laughs> uh, what okay. I, I, Okay, uh, the the tables have really turned. Uh, Diego and Andrew. Yeah, got that's how you say it. Nine. Double nine. It was from the office, you idiot. Oh, yeah, 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 you uncultured <laughs> swine. <laughs> Kevin, yeah. I'm breaking bad, and motherfucker. Kevin, the Hollywood whiz. I'm on season what the four, bitch. What? Season four, episode two, to be I exactly never Breaking Bad. Seen all of the Office, Mr. Hollywood. Okay, Breaking like, Bad. Okay, okay. Let's just, let's get well, you see Breaking Bad, bro. I'll so be yeah, done this month. All right. So as I was trying to say, yeah, Diego and Andrew got this one. Everyone else, no. Yeah, ye. Yes. For live action job. I'm proud of you, Andrew. Yeah, Thank you, Diego. Yeah. All right, now for international <laughs> feature, Very hard. We, we all definitely got this one. Wrong. Oh man! Oh, yeah. oh my god! Dude, I can't believe they didn't give it to Honeyland. I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised. I thought Diego had, had a point when he said it was going to be Corpus Christi. I was very but, surprised. But, 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 wait, but wait, guys, why did they why didn't they give it to Pain and Glory? Because International can't win. Back I mean, Penelope Cruz presented the category, no, guys. Yeah, no, like legit. I'm gonna be honest. For a second, I saw Penelope Cruz come out, and I go, "Ah, oh, shit! It is going to pay the Imagine! Oh my god! Girl, saying like, "Auntie, you dumb idiot!" And then she's like, and, "Pain and, and glory!" And, like, oh, fuck. like, oh, yeah, but it's kind of like when Spike Lee came out for director. I go, "There's no way they have Spike Lee present this if Tarantino's winning." Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right. So yeah, Parasite was the winner. Next one up. Oh man, this is probably the one I'm the most heartbroken I got wrong. Uh, this is the only prediction that I regret making, to be honest. Oh, uh, I, 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 I was like, really out of the ones that I got wrong, this is the only one where I'm like, yeah, I probably should have just gone with Toy Story 4. After Jackson like said to me that BAFTA winners like haven't like the winners for that haven't won the Oscar in over like five years, I'm like, yeah, that was probably a bad choice. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know what, Caden? It's oh. okay. At least we didn't predict Cold War for foreign language. But honestly, probably this and Brad Pitt were probably like my favorite wins of the night, and they were the first two awards. So, yeah, like the, as soon as I got like this to the second one, I was like, oh my god, already? Oh my god! Yeah, no, so But but yeah, good job to Diego, film fan, Andrew Jackson. Good for job. a second, I thought it was going to be clever. I was like, well, time to mark this down. Yeah, the same. <laughs> they said Toy Story 4. I was like, oh, thank God. Now, uh, at least this is the animated category I got right. Yes. I got this one right. And it was Hair Love for Animated Short Film. What a yeah. great win. Or is this the last one? Oh, we're at the last yep. No, yep, we are. Oh, wow. Already. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, uh, I know, Jackson. I know uh, oh, I know Jackson's all alone. I Listen, know. it was the front runner. It was a smart choice. Yeah, I actually everyone. thought, no, here's the thing. I actually thought what was going to happen is that Jackson was going to be the only one right here. That's what I oh, thought was going to happen originally. Yeah, as, as, soon as, as soon as it went to um, no, oh, a screenplay and up to I'm talking about before that, like before okay, the Oscars I will, Okay, I will say this. When it got screenplay, I still wasn't sure because Shape of Water won yeah, in yeah. 20, 
from like yeah. that part. And I went, but the moment I went best director, I'm like, it's bad. that's kind of yeah. Yeah, it was obvious. It's like, no, I've done fucked up. All <laughs> that's, right, so, that's uh, we all done so fucked I was up. Gonna, Diego and Caden. All right, so mm -hmm. I was gonna say, yeah, it's too bad Diego couldn't make it because um, I would have said, congrats to him, congrats right. to Caden for sticking with their guts, right. and, you know, with Parasite, because I know, I know you especially, Caden, was kind of hesitant about it. Like okay, I was only was okay. I will say this: I was only hesitant because Roma Roma lost last year. No, yeah, and that's a, I was yeah, so that was so because I was so confident that I was going to win Best Picture. I mean, I think I, didn't we all predict it was going to win? No, I was except for Jackson. No. Yeah, except similar, Jackson. Similar, similar to this, where I'm alone with 1917. I was the only one who went with Black Clansman. Oh, that's right. That's and right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so like, here's the thing. Too. I was so confident that was gonna happen. Yeah, it, it, it was the front runner. Like it's not like it's not like Paris it was the second front runner. So the fact that it lost to Green Book, and I'm not saying like Green Book like didn't deserve it because I haven't seen it. But like it was just so deflating for me because I'm like I'm like oh my god like how is a foreign or international film gonna win Best Picture at this rate if Roma doesn't win? So like right. going to predict this, I was like I don't know. But Parasite is even more love from than Roma, so I was just kind of hesitant on it. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I that I predicted for screenplay, and I was like, that screenplay was the one I was very nervous about because I'm like, if it goes to Tarantino, it's probably that's gonna win best picture, and then it won screenplay, I was like, oh my god, but then it went and won, won best director. If I can be honest, the winning best director was more shocking, uh, than it uh, winning best screenplay because Sam Mendes, was no, like, yeah, I would the, agree, yeah, I think Sam Mendes was the biggest favorite of the night. Besides, yeah. besides Renee Zellweger, so it was like, just like it was just crazy. This is to me the most historic moment in the history of the Oscars. Yeah, um, absolutely. I, yeah. I, I, I've yeah. seen some people give some examples, and like, I've and like my counter argument is like those are just those are not remembered as much as this is gonna be remembered. Like this is like this is going to go like when they write hit when they write history books about like more books about film in the future this is this is gonna be like its own section you know what I yeah, mean yeah definitely so oh, it's like yeah. it's just like it's just like crazy like it's it's not just like a guy like a huge for the like um for the Academy Awards it's like a huge history in the, in the in film. I went with it because I was, you know what, I I was confident it was gonna win, but I can't lie, I was a little bit shaky just because of Roma, but it fucking won. It fucking won. But honestly, I will say this though, I really wish Roma won last year so we could just say that like an international film won two years in a yeah. row. Yeah, because, no, because yeah, then so like audiences cool. would really be like, damn, you know, like we really do have to take it seriously. And I'm not saying that now, like this is definitely gonna make the stigma against it because there's a stigma. Don't try to. There is. Don't like. I don't even want to. I've I've seen people's arguments. There is a stigma against it. Okay. Like now, people who like were hesitant on seeing the film, even knowing about it, are now gonna seek it out. And if they and if they like it enough, they're like, you know what? Let me go finally watch Roma or something, and then maybe they'll they'll find you know like like a classic foreign film like uh, Life Is Beautiful or um, Amelie or uh, oh yeah, I stupidly thought or, Life or, is or, or you know like Pan's Labyrinth. You know, it's like you know, it's just like it's just this is the, I I'm just so happy because it's it's yeah. such a great win for the the film culture and stuff, but it's also just so historic. I know for Diego, I wish he was here because it's such a crazy win, but I'll let you guys talk now because I've talked enough about it. So. Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to say something for like the past like two few minutes, but um... Okay, shut up. It was like five minutes ago and I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I am very happy. No, no, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. what I was gonna say, as sure someone who, as someone who initially was like really pulling for the Irishman, obviously big fan of Scorsese and things like that, I could not be happier for this win. I mean, just Parasite is such a great original film um, that we just don't really get to see. And someone like Bon Joon Ho, this talent that I have said in my original review, you know, was already on a very deserved pedestal. The way he was able to top himself here and make what will be the film of his career now uh, is just absolutely remarkable. No other director. Uh, it's, it's rare for a director to do something like that. And I don't think this win will ever be replicated for a very, very long no, time. For sure. No. And uh, just the fact that he won, especially the fact that he won like three awards, and each time he thought it was like no, the last no, one. No, 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 dude, no, he won four because he, he was a producer on Parasite. Oh, true, yeah. Just yeah. the fact that he won four awards, and each time he thought that was like af after Best International Film, he thought that was like it, and then it just kept going. Oh, I That's just felt. 
Sorry to I interrupt just, you, but, that, but, but like that, that's exactly my point because he was Yeah, I just felt so happy for him after that. It was yeah. such an amazing, amazing moment, and I just can't be happier. And again, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to agree, but I've never been more happy to be so wrong in my life. Honestly, this is such mm -hmm. a fantastic win, and I'm just so happy I was able to be a part of it because, mm -hmm. oh my God, it's just, it's, it's so amazing. It's so mm -hmm. amazing. Like when I and you know what, it's especially a win for Diego because his initials are right next to it. So that, that should have told you right there that the film was going to win. Yeah, like when I predicted 1917, I was just trying to go with like the most safe one because I thought yeah. maybe because of Roma, like the Parasite might be unlikely. They'll just give it the best international uh, mm -hmm. feature film. But, you know, I'm, I've never been more excited to be more. Like when Jane Fonda like paused and looked over where Parasite Group was sitting, I was like, oh, fuck, this is it, boys. Yep. So, yeah. That was that was great. Really great show overall. You, you know, I'm really happy about this. You know, obviously, we all know I really wanted uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to yeah, win, yeah, but I know, I know. Was that <laughs> talking to you? Talk Man, for five shut seconds. up! That, that is a great so movie. Okay. It is. It is. It's an A plus. Like what? 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 <laughs> Yeah, Kevin talks uh, for 22 minutes uninterrupted. Film fan says five seconds. Kevin's like, yeah, 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 yeah. like <laughs> um. But I know, I know, um, everyone, everyone, you know, I want that to win, but I can't really, you know, be upset about this because I do love Parasite a lot. I think it's a fantastic movie. And like all of you have said, this is a very important win and a very important win for just the film community in general, you know, and I really am happy uh, about that. I think it's a movie that really does deserve this mantle and it's very, it's a very special moment, honestly, and it really is. And, you know, Congrats to the team on Parasite. You know, they really do deserve this. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, Bong Joon-ho is a director I admire a lot. And I'm just very happy for him, honestly, for someone uh -huh. to get like this much recognition. Be good for him and everyone involved with the film for uh, getting the, not only just best picture, but just the wins it got tonight, honestly. So, yeah, congrats to him. Like you guys have already said it. It's gonna be a historic win for sure. It's gonna go down as like one of the most like historic moments in Oscar history. So really awesome right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to like just to say one more thing quickly, that like I think that it's like it's kind of interesting. It's like like I like you know if like if that didn't win, like I don't know like if it would have gone in Once Upon a Time or nineteen seventeen. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I think it would have gone in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but I'm just yeah. you know it's like. <clears throat> It's like, I don't know, it's just like, it's interesting, you know, to like, to see like, finally, like, you know, an international film win and be like, you know, it beat out all these like American films, you know, it's just like, it's just so crazy to think about that. You know? And honestly, it's like, if this didn't win Best Picture, then what other international movie was going that to That is, that yeah. is what I was never terrified been. about. Because you know what I mean? Like, if this wasn't going to do it, then what was? You know? yeah. No other, honestly, I don't think, honestly, because that's why I think Roma had so much hype last year, but Parasite had, had like even more hype. Yeah, so it was. Yeah, I win, there was no, because no, no independent film is going to match the success of Parasite for decades. No. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just don't see a film having this big of, of a moment. If a foreign film gets not, or an international film gets nominated like next year or a few years down the road for Best Picture and it doesn't win, I'm not going to be mad because like, the, I I know that film won't have the same amount of hype that Parasite has, and definitely the amount of hype it has and the respect that people have for the film, like, definitely was a big factor in it winning. You know, and also, I mean, Parasite to me easily had the best Oscar campaign. All right, you know, I'm very happy for Parasite because, uh, you know, it's not, not only because, you know, Mantis, a foreign film, won. But, like, it's it just generally one of the best movies like ever, like I've ever seen. Like, so I'm very happy, even though if it came at the expense of uh, the goat, uh, Quentin Tarantino. That's Martin Scorsese, actually. But yeah. <laughs> Nobody Scorsese. fucking asked Wait, you man. a goddamn fucking thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Though. I mean, Terrence is number two, but of course, he's only two. Go crazy! Go crazy! Oh my! Okay, everyone, here are oh, the results for this. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh oh. Oh! I hate everyone. I hate everyone. <laughs> Another so bad. It's gotta be okay. I hate everyone. How do I go from winning to losing? <laughs> 
I just like that I'm in, I, I don't that, think that just, I'm in, I have another time. Film fan, just know you didn't fuck up as badly as I did last year. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I, didn't yeah, even get over, like, I didn't even get over, like, halfway right. Like, I think I, I think I got, like, 13 or 12 yeah. right. You got 12 out of 12 right halfway. So oh, still the that was, oh, yeah, let's not even mention that shit. Jesus. As you can see, the winner is not here right now, but it is Diego Coya. He is the winner of wow. this year's prediction. So congrats, Diego. Let's all give him a round of applause. Just bailing out on our... Yeah. Congrats with 21 right and three wrong. In second place tied is Andrew and Jackson. Andrew, I know you said how you were playing in second place. So, Andrew, you can celebrate. You got your wish. You got Andrew what you Jackson, yeah. get. So, you and Jackson tied with 19 right and five wrong. And then it's a three way tie for third place. Hell with yeah. Hayden and Kevin with 18 right and six wrong. And then in final place, it's Phil Fan 0599 with six right. I hate right everyone. <laughs> Okay, I'll say I'll say this for a film fan. He should, he, he should be able. To, I think he should choose between like which one he likes the most, like four, five, or six, or seven. Probably. Yeah, honest. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say that because obviously the uh, you put the thing on me, Tony, because I, I gotta say something. And there you go. Okay, so now of course we gotta address the elephants in the room. So as we know, there were seventh uh, possible. There were seven tiers basically that you could get for um, all these places, seven different consequences. But obviously there were only four places. So the real question is like, what are we gonna do? And originally I was just gonna do, there's only four now, but because there are four different options, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have film fan comb through the four options and pick the one that he likes the most. And that will be his uh, consequence, whichever So, so, so Larry from four to seven places. Yes, any of like four to that. seven, any of those are optional. But aside that's, that's from that, that's a good first, idea. second, yeah, yeah. third are all the same, but everything else is optional. Wait, 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 wait what is third? Because I don't remember what it was. I got to look at it again. Oh, um, I have it here. It's review of film that should have won an Oscar. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well. Okay, well, War for... War four, four, five, six, and seven. All right, I I literally have my phone right here, so I'll just read them. Uh, All right, okay. So, okay, so first place, you get to review one of your favorite films of the decade on either YouTube or Letterboxd. So, you know, it's up to Diego what he wants to do with that. For Andrew and Jackson, who are in second place, you both get to choose. Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Worst. Worst. So, Honestly, these are the two worst people to win this award. <laughs> Fuck me. So, uh, so, yeah, you boys get to decide. Have uh, fun. Go crazy. And third well, place. Well, we'll get Jackson back on cast. So. No. Yes. <laughs> That's what will happen. And then obviously third place, you know, I already said it, review a film that should have won an Oscar. So me, Kevin, and Caden, we got to do that for YouTube or Letterboxd. You know, it's our decision. And then, you know, Kevin already addressed it since uh, Phil Fenn was in last place. He gets to decide between fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And just to read them very quick, for the, the options he has are either rewatch and review an Oscar film that you feel is undeserving. He could go with watch whatever movie wins worst picture at the Razzies this year. And if you have already seen it, then they will watch one of like the previous winners of that coveted award. Kevin wor Kevin's words, not mine. Sixth place, uh, you have to watch a review of the Merv No Cold Brown Simpson. I know, I know film fans are probably gonna go with that. And then uh seventh place, whoever gets a spot has to watch a bad movie selected by the Falk himself, Kevin. Hello. So I'm not doing I'm not doing yeah, six or seven, that. that's for sure. Um so I just have to choose between four and five. So I'm either you're, you're watching a movie that got a Razzie or you're watching a movie that got an Oscar that you feel is undeserving. You know what? To put myself through the torture, I'll do fifth place. All right. Wait, that's the one I want you to do because I want to watch like a really shitty movie with you or something. <laughs> so I will watch whatever movie wins worst picture. <laughs> yes. So I, I, oh, God, I don't think I've seen any of the movies that have been nominated for Worst Picture. Oh, so. God, that, 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 oh God, that means you're going to have to watch Cats watch probably because that's probably going to win. Cats, oh, watch, Jesus. Cats, watch Cats, watch yeah, Cats. You're going to have to watch Cats. Let's go. Can we quickly talk about that Robert Wilson and James Corden thing? Oh, oh yeah, my God. God. With the visual effects, that, 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 was, that was beautiful. I like that they clearly. That was great. That, <laughs> yeah. that scared the shit out of me. 
I, I was kind of like in a state Anyways, of shock. Okay, so actually, if they, if they right, put but, if Tom Hooper just filled them on filmed them on stage, it would have looked much better than anything in the movie. If only right, they yeah. just stuck with practical suits. But someone here said it wasn't that scary. So I mean, I did. That was Kevin, by the way. He said, "You guys are a bunch of pussies." And oh, then yeah, two I left, left the movie. I left the chat. Because, I love how Kevin said that we're all pussies, and then literally when I saw it with him, he turned to me halfway through and goes, "Oh man, these visuals are just terrifying, Kevin." I saw the movie with you. No, no, what I said is, dude, I'm really creeped out right now. Oh, oh dude, what I said. Oh, oh, so you're changing my words around, which um, oh, that, that's such a di- <laughs> the, the difference between I'm really creeped out right now and man, these visuals are terrifying. There's such a huge difference there that I'm oh, glad. Yeah, there's a, Thanks. Yeah, they're demonstrably different. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, bye. Oh, we're still going. Wow. Damn. Oh, oh man. You lost it. Anyways. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to say. You Holy know, fuck, it's one in the morning. So, yeah, I just wanted to say congrats to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're in first or last. You know, I think all that matters is that we all had fun. I know we could get a little competitive for sure, but. Because um, I but, hate Jackson. But at the end of the day, I hope, you know, that everyone just has fun with this. Thank you to Jackson. Thank you to Kevin, Auburn film fan, Andrew, and Diego for joining this year's predictions. So, uh, yeah, did it, does anyone want to say anything before we uh, sign off? Well, I'm excited for uh, for film fan to witness the masterpiece known as Cats. Woo! Wow. Well, um... You know, thank you, as always, Tony, for letting me uh, come on to these. I always have fun with these, you know, no matter, you know, what happens and whatever. But I always have fun. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully next year my gambling. um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Will I ever get to speak? No, I won't, as long as Kevin is on this earth. Um. But anyways, um, but no, um, I always have fun doing these. Um, hopefully, my gambling uh, it, it gets me a little bit better next year. But um, but no, I have fun. It's always fun doing these. And you know, yeah, um, um, um yeah, uh, penis. No, no, that's not it. Um, Coca Cola. Mm. Wow. Nice. Deep. <clears throat> uh, anything you want to say, Jackson? Uh, you know, this was fun. I'm glad that I got more predictions right this year than last. Even if it wasn't first place again, obviously, it's just great to be tied with a great individual known as the Duck. So that was really cool. And I uh, can't wait for next year. All right, get fucked. Oh, yeah, I didn't really get to say what I wanted to anyway, so go, go back to me. Wow. Okay. I, no, I was just saying the whole, uh, I can't wait for Film Pen to watch Cats. Keep that in. But also, thank you, of course, Tony, for having me on. Uh, despite the fact that I was not in the predictions video all that much, um, I was very happy to be in this one a lot more. And these are always a lot of fun to do, definitely. Um, and especially when it's such a great award season and there were just so many options. These are the best kind of uh, years, I think. The years that aren't as obvious as to what's going to win. And that was exactly the case this year. Yes, there were a bunch of obvious ones, like acting-wise, but a lot of the other things were pretty much fair game. And it's just really, really a lot of fun to see um, the outcome of it all. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for a film fan to watch Cats. Let's go. Fuck you. Stupid bitch. Kevin, you stupid fucking bitch. No, okay. Likely it'll be Cats, uh-huh. but we don't know. Very nice words. Uh, and uh, Kaden, any final words you want to say? Um, first, I want it's 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 a good day. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, I'm excited for whatever the next Oscar thing is. And uh, yeah, um, I uh, I just you know uh, my my main goal before the Oscar nominations next year is to try to like see like every potential Best Picture nominee again. I just thought it was really cool that I saw all of them before like the, the nominees were announced, so I didn't have to like go see anything else. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah. Uh, and also, uh, next year I'm definitely gonna go try to see the short films and and stuff in theaters because I was gonna I was really wanting to do that this year, but I wasn't able to. So you know that kind of yeah, stuff. about that. 
<laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah, hopefully I can do that um, next year. And um, yeah, I love you all. And um, fuck Kevin. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Then <laughs> fuck Kevin Falk. Yep. We are now picking a movie for. I know I like to do my tiger power, but you know what? Let's change it up. Let's end it by saying fuck Kevin, and we all give our middle fingers. Yeah. One, I'm going to say fuck myself. Fuck Kevin. 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 Now shove that tiger power up your ass. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a wrap. 